Aloha, and welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. I remember Mai Tais has a drink that I would have at different bars, and each time I had it, it tasted a little bit different. One time I asked a bartender, how do you make your Mai Tais? He said, oh, rum and a bunch of juices. The problem is, that's the way a lot of bars make it. The reason being, a lot of the exotic drinks from the tiki era of Don the Beachcomber and Trader Vic were, were secret recipes. And so bartenders in other bars didn't know how to make a drink like the Mai Tai. You go into Trader Vic's and you have a Mai Tai, you say, my God, that's a wonderful drink. Go down the street to another bar a couple weeks later, ask that bartender for Mai Tai, and they don't know how to make it. But they want to help. So with you providing some input, they eventually come up with a drink that you think tastes kind of like the drink you remember having at Trader Vic's the week before. And from that point on, that's that bartender's version of a Mai Tai. You can imagine, time after time, this evolution, if you want to call it that, goes on from bartender to bartender, and the drink changes repeatedly. Today, you can see Mai Tai recipes that include pineapple juice and passion fruit syrup and grenadine and orange juice and all other sorts of things like that. But none of them really capture the true Mai Tai the way Trader Vic originally intended it. The Mai Tai is an excellent drink, but very few bars serve it properly. I'm going to make you one the real Trader Vic style. Matter of fact, I'm even using Trader Vic's cocktail shaker for it. Now the drink is simply made. We start out with one ounce of a light rum. One ounce of a gold rum. A half ounce of orange curacao. Orange curacao is kind of like a triple sec. It's kind of the precursor of triple sec. Normally it's kind of a darker amber color. Um, avoid the blue orange, the blue curacao because the only purpose for that is blue drinks and quite frankly there as far as I'm concerned there aren't any that many good blue drinks. You're far better off buying that stuff. Uh, we then have a half ounce of Orge. Um, I'm using the Fee Brothers Orge. Um, it's, it can be difficult to find. Um, a lot of places aren't going to have it very readily. Um, I got mine from uh, kegworks.com. It's very easily available online. And, um, uh, it's basically an almond syrup with a little teeny bit of orange flower water added to it. And it's usually a cloudy color um, as opposed to clear like an almond syrup is going to be. So that's both the uh, orange curacao and the orge there. And now we add a half ounce, half ounce of fresh lime juice. It's really important to use fresh lime juice, not those bottled lime juices and stuff like that. I'm going to take and squeeze mine fresh with this nice little plier style squeezer. Um, they work really well squeezing and straining out any of the seeds. Uh, limes traditionally don't have seeds, but it works really good for lemons like that. And uh, these are also available on uh, kegworks.com. And we just need a half ounce of that as well. Let's see if we've got it there. There's a half ounce there. Uh, notice also I'm actually building this in the glass. Um, one of the handy things from that standpoint is I actually know whether or not the glass is going to get filled up with the drink or not. We now Add the ice. Now pour that into the shaker. And this particular shaker is designed to fit this glass nicely. It's a little bit bigger than a standard Boston shaker. I pour that straight into the glass again. And now I'm going to top it with an ounce of dark rum. This is an optional step. It's not necessary. One of the nice things about doing it like this, especially when you're sipping through a straw, 
the drink's going to take and dilute itself as you're drinking it, and by the time you get to the end, the dark rum float is actually going to increase the flavor and help it along. Now for a garnish, we use a pineapple speared with a cherry and a little sword pick, hang that over the edge, and a little bit of mint, and a couple of sip straws. And there we have the Mai Tai made the Trader Vic's way.